Hey, what's up boys and girls? Welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Shh, don't tell nobody, but please tell everybody Richardson because today we're here to talk about Soundcore's top secret G14 classified speaker, which is the Motion 100, and how it compares to the JBL Flip 6. Now, as you can see here, I have the Motion 100 next to the Motion 300 and the JBL Flip 6 next to the JBL Charge 5. I only did this because I'm actually gonna be doing a comparison video of the JBL Motion 300, I'm sorry, the Soundcore Motion 300 versus the JBL Charge 5, because this needs to be done, man. I don't know if anybody's really done this yet, but these two are actually going head to head, and so are these two. Soundcore is just like literally charging at JBL, pun intended, <laughs> with their new speaker lineup, man. They are directly aiming their attention at JBL and competing in the same classes of speakers. But this right here will be a separate video coming right after the one you're watching now. Look, don't skip forward, okay? Make sure you watch my whole video and click on the links because every time you click on one of my links, it makes me stinking rich. I get paid like a million dollars per click. So please help your boy out, man. Help me keep my million, gajillion, billionaire status. <laughs> I'm serious. Look, you ain't got to click on the links. I really don't give a shit. But what I do need you to do is pay attention to what I'm about to say because we're going to be comparing the Motion 100 and the JBL uh, Flip 6. So let's just move these out of the way. Now, I did take a couple of notes, man. This is going to be very unprofessionally done because I'm not a professional or an expert or anything. I just wrote down a couple of key notes here as far as specky things. I don't really like specs here, but we got some specky stuff. So let me just kind of stack these up right here just so you can see which one I'm talking about. Let me get this right here. That way you can see what I'm doing here, bro. All right, look, we got the Motion 100 here coming in at a price tag of $49 to $59. I say that because on Amazon, it's on sale for $49. And on the Soundcore website, it's um, on sale for $59. So it's it's cheap. $60 is the most you're going to pay for this thing. And that's something to say about Soundcore because they really never sell anything at retail price. Meanwhile, JBL is charging you on Amazon $97 for the Flip 6 and respectively $129 on the JBL website. But it is what it is. JBL always costs a little bit more. Some people say they're overpriced. Some people say it is what it is and buy it anyway. But I do have some other stuff here that's important like battery life. Look, I think they both come in at 12 hours worth of battery life and that's that's nice, man. I, I like, I can appreciate the battery life and the size of speaker of these two sizes. They're pretty much identical in size. So getting 12 hours out of these things, max. Now remember, if you run your speaker with like the LDAC on, which you get with uh, the Soundcore Motion 100, and especially either one of them at full volume, you are not getting 12 hours. Cut that in half, and then even in some cases, you know, cut it in half again, because you will drain that battery pretty quick. Now, as far as durability goes, you're gonna get IPX7 with the Motion 100 and IP67 with the JBL Flip 6. Now, that's not that far apart, okay? So, some, I don't, it's just not that far apart. You take it however you wanna take it to me, it might as well be the same thing. For some of you, you know, the, the dust and the water resistance, like that, those little bitty details between the two can mean a lot. So there's your differences right there. But as we're talking about durability, the sound cord does take a minor hit because it has a metal grill that is, it feels coated, but it is metal. But I mean, that, that lends a great deal to the aesthetics. It makes the speaker look really nice. But as far as durability goes, if you drop this thing, you might get a dent or a scratch in here and it's gonna make your speaker ugly. And if you're like me, when your speakers are ugly, uh, you know, some people like the ruggedness, some people just like their stuff new and you know, it is what it is. On the other hand, if you got this JBL Flip 6, you got these little rubber or neoprene bump stops right here to protect the outer edges. And then you got the whole thing wrapped in a fabric. And the only thing that can really get scratched up is the actual JBL logo. Now, let me tell you, I put my JBL uh, Boombox 3 in the trunk and I guess something was rubbing up against it. So my logo actually has some scratches on the front. I don't mind it, but some of you would. So, you know, it is what it is. Things get damaged, stuff happens. If you're using it like you're supposed to be using it, things will happen to it. But overall, these are both very, very durable speakers and they should be able to hold up to anything you throw at them. Now, here's where people are gonna start fighting in the comment section because on Soundcore's website, it says that the Motion 100 kicks out up to 20 watts of stereo power. 
And then you go over to the JBL website, which is not always the clearest, but on their updated website, it says that the JBL Flip 6 comes in at a whopping 30 watts. That's a lot for this size of a speaker. And hey, it's what JBL says it is. There's some of you in the comments will say otherwise. I don't care what you say. I'm just going by what JBL told me via their website. But I did mention the Motion 100 puts out stereo. That's because you got two drivers, one here, one there, and a passive radiator in the middle. Whereas with the JBL Flip 6, you're only gonna get mono, but it really does sound good man that just because it ain't stereo that don't mean this thing don't thump now since i brought up stereo i have to mention that this is actually high res the motion 100 is bragging about ldac and high res audio which it really does sound good in fact this this speaker right here it's it performs decently outdoors but this speaker right here me and wilson were listening to it the other day and it man this thing really can like deliver some good details in music like let's say you got some I don't know how many of you listen to like orchestra or classical, but music with instruments, right? That's what we were testing it with. And then we put some more complicated music to it with, you know, some 808s and some drum lines. This thing handles it really well as far as details go. And that's what you get when you're getting high res and stereo. So I definitely say Soundcore has definitely one up JBL in that department as far as sound quality goes and sound separation and all that. But they take it a step higher by giving you the app. Well, you both, you get app with uh, an app with both of of them but soundcore gives you the nine band eq with your app and it's just it's just a better app experience because jbl all they give you is the ability to engage a three band eq which you can't do that much with but with that being said when i talk about stereo yes you can stereo pair both of them to another speaker and they're both pretty easily done. However, JBL actually has a dedicated button here to do that with. If you have an identical JBL Flip 6, you can actually stereo pair them together and get your thump on that way. But it also has party boost. So you can boost this thing, party boost it with a ton of other JBL speakers that are from the past and the present of different types, such as the Boombox 3, Charge 5, Charge 4, whatever. You can just party boost that bad boy. Whereas the Soundcore Motion 100 can only be stereo paired with an identical uh, Soundcore Motion 100. Now, in my personal opinion, outdoors, the JBL does come out on top, shining with a more fuller sound and just, you know, a more outdoorsy sound, something you could really take with you and just kind of you know, really enjoy at a picnic or, you know, like a beach or something like that, or just hanging out, right? Whereas the Soundcore Motion 100 is no slouch. It will deliver a really good sound outdoors, but this speaker delivers detail and that's where it shines. It shines on the details, literally. So it does outperform the JBL Flip 6 in that department. So it really just depends on what kind of listener you are. These things are neck and neck when it comes to like features, right? You got the apps, you got the stereo pairing, you got, similar durability, you got very similar battery life, all that good stuff. What matters to most people is gonna be sound. And of course, in this case, portability, they're both super portable. You got your lanyard right here for your JBL Flip 6, and then you got your little loop right here, so you can attach a carabiner or something to the Motion 100, but the sound, dude, the sound. So, do you want like thump, portable thump, you know what I'm saying, for outdoors doing stuff kind of stuff? Or do you care about your details and your fine, like your refined music listening? Cause that's where it's at with the Motion 100. And for like half the price, dude, that's a big factor too. I don't know which one you're gonna choose, but for now, we gotta go to the sound comparison between the two. Now remember, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff. I don't have any special microphone, so you're just gonna get a sound test, okay? With a regular microphone, because let's just face it, man, YouTube compression destroys the crap out of these sound tests, bro. <laughs> There's no way possible I can let you hear exactly what this sounds like to me in real life versus editing it on the computer, sending it through the interweb, and then posting it on YouTube. And whatever you decide to listen to your YouTube video with, yeah, that's not gonna come out right. So just take it all with a grain of salt and let's roll that beautiful footage of that comparison. Don't prove me wrong, prove you right. Don't prove me wrong, prove you right. My word is bond, we don't spit no lies. 